Uh, so this is just a really quick demo on building up relief texture. There are loads of different ways you can take this. Um, I'm just going to keep this one simple. So I'm starting off by rolling out some thin slabs, um, just a millimetre thick. They can be thicker if you want them to. Um, I'm not using guides for this, but if you felt you needed to use guides, then just find a couple of... Um, magazines or something like that that are the right thickness um, and I'm going to move those onto some paper to lift them around and I'm then going to roll texture into them. I've left the bowl wrapped with a damp sponge inside because it was starting to dry out a little bit, um, a bit too much. You want it to still be quite soft. Um, I'm rolling texture in. Now there's loads of different textures you can use here. Lace, waxy leaves, uh, you could roll string in, um, you could uh, roll uh, like a textured wallpaper, have a, have a hunt around the house. Um, and then cutting out using the tip of a knife. Um, you then need to score the back of your raised um, shape quite deeply um, and you need to score the area and um, that it's been stuck onto as well so you need to you need to mark, gent gently mark that um, and then score that area too before applying a vinegar slip or a water-based slip. Um, you can watch watch the beginner's videos if you don't know how to make that. Um, you apply slip liberally to both areas. So the slip wants to be quite a thick consistency and you're applying it so that it's sinking into all of the grooves and that's going to glue the whole thing together. Um, if you don't, if you don't um, score and slip enough, as, as the clay dries and it shrinks by 30% they'll just want to pop apart. I'm just going to cut the edge off there and smooth it down um, and, I, and I, like I say I'm keeping this one simple so I'm just going to do a couple of similar shapes using the same texture but you can mix and match your textures. You can do much smaller shapes than this um, to build up pattern you can build up double layers of relief if you want to. The thing is to make sure that everything is well stuck down. So I'm doing the same thing, scoring around the edge just to, or not scoring, gently marking so I know where I am scoring. And then cross hatching, so scratching, deep scratches in one direction, deep scratches in the other direction on the area that you're sticking to and the raised form. And again, applying quite a thick slip so that it's sinking into all of the grooves. So you can use this on any form. I'm using it on a press molded bowl, but you could use it on a vessel you've constructed as well. That's it.